Good morning, Mark here from Success with Options. Recently, somebody submitted a question to me that I thought was kind of interesting and worth probably taking a little bit of time to cover in a video. I'm also going to cover it briefly in the upcoming May newsletter, but uh, this is kind of a precursor to that, I think, and sometimes I, I believe a picture's worth a thousand words. Uh, the question was basically this, how do I find a list of optionable ETFs based on volume? And the honest truth is I haven't found a lot of tools or lists anywhere out in the industry that support that kind of a thing. So uh, the only place I've really found that supports searching for options based on or optionable ETFs based on volume is uh, on the Thinkorswim platform. So what I want to do is briefly go through a quick little demo of how you can actually set up a search and build a watch list based on um, a set of optionable ETFs and uh, certain other criteria if you want to add them to it as well. Uh, now this is going to require the live Thinkorswim training platform and the reason is is there's a couple of features here that aren't enabled in the paper trading platform so you'll need a funded account and have it be a live account in order to perform these options uh, searches. So we're gonna start by going over to the scan tab and if we select the scan tab We'll just kind of see the, the basic default. You may have already set up some scans. If you have the Thinkorswim platform, you may already be doing this kind of scan. So uh, this is designed to be able to do some really quick searches based on uh, all kinds of criteria. So we can scan for uh, all stocks in certain categories. I can scan personal watch lists. I can scan public lists that have been set up. I can do all kinds of things like that. And in addition, then, I can add filters. I can filter based on uh, net change, volume, earnings per share, bid ask prices, market cap in terms of dollars and that's millions of dollars and that sort of thing. So uh, you can do some pretty nifty things here. What I'm going to do though is I will go ahead and remove all of these filters because we won't be using those particular ones. Uh, so what we're going to do is the criteria was that it needed to be an ETF and it needed to be optionable. Now, we can't accomplish that in one search, but there's a nice little feature here where I can scan in a list. So if I go to personal, uh, sorry, not personal, public. So if I go to public and look for all ETFs, I have my entire list of ETFs. But that doesn't filter out the ones that aren't optionable. So what I can do is intersect with, go to category, down to all optionable, and what this scan will uh, provide for me is a list of all optionable ETFs. So if I was to check out any one of these, these would all be uh, ETFs that I could go get information on and so forth. Um, I could bring up uh, charts and look at all kinds of details. We're not quite done yet. We need to add uh, some filters. So notice that I could add filters based on the stock. I can add filters based on the option, and then I can add, even add some study filters. So I can create filters based on um, where a stock is relative to its moving average or other kinds of study type filters. We're not going to get that advanced. All we're going to do is go to the option filter, and we want to search for volume. And let's say that we want to have a minimum volume of 500 shares. That's usually a daily volume. So if I add that, I've now filtered out uh, quite a few stocks. So most of these stocks down in this range were ones that had very low volumes, which tend to be not very good candidates for searching. Now we may want to fiddle around with this a little bit and maybe even raise that number even higher. But let's start there and see what we get. So we're now down to a list of 50 different stocks that meet that criteria. Um, and uh, we may be able to filter that even more. But we noticed that some of the major ones that are in here are the SPY, the EEM, IWM. So these are a lot of the ones that I trade and I recommend trading. And so you've quickly gotten those. But in addition, we have GLD and a few others that I've not actually personally looked at. Now, I want to encourage you, once you've got a list of stocks that or ETFs that you intend to trade on, you should always do your research to figure out what that uh, particular ETF represents, how it behaves, uh, because not all ETFs are created equal. Um, some of them are weighted differently, and some of them behave in the market differently. Um, some of them could be ultra shorts or shorts, so they're, they're working in the inverse of the underlying market and those kinds of things. So it's very important to make sure that you understand what it is you're looking at and not just blindly picking a, a, an ETF. 
Now, um, the next thing that we want to do is we might want to potentially select certain ones of these and add them to some sort of a watch list. So I want to kind of finish this section up by showing you really quickly how we can set up a watch list and then add uh, certain ones of these items that we found into the watch list. So what I'm going to do, I already have my own watch list, but let's just go ahead and create a new watch list. So uh, I want to create a... No, I don't. Okay, so I can go ahead and go into uh, create new watch list. We'll call this one optionable ETFs. And for now, we'll just go ahead and leave it empty. But now I have my optionable ETFs. And so I can go in and add individual ones of these to the watch list. So I like that ETM, uh, EEM. and so forth. So what I could do with this entire list is I could just save the entire list of, of into a watch list. And then there's that entire watch list. And then I could selectively remove ones that I didn't want to have or whatever. Um, the other thing that I could do is I could continue filtering based on other criteria. So um, maybe I'm looking for certain certain items that have a underlying stock fil uh, stock volume and so forth. So there's a number of different things that I can do in that regard. So uh, that that kind of wraps up the overview of how you can actually build a watch list of optionable ETFs that meet a certain criteria. I hope you found this video helpful in helping you locate optionable ETFs and add them to your watch list for future trading. I want to thank you for watching this video and of course if you have any questions about any additional trading strategies or tips and tricks feel free to visit the website at successwithoptions.com. Lots of resources there including uh, some different tutorials as well as links to other videos. Uh, also check out some of the other videos that are found on uh, my YouTube site. Stay tuned for additional videos that will be coming. I'll be posting videos to the YouTube account as well as additional videos which I want to mention including uh, the latest video that I just released some time back which is called Mastering Short Vertical Spreads. Uh, so there's a little link here that you can go to find out more information. If you like this video and you like the content and found it informative, you might want to also check out some of the more in-depth videos that I have that are for sale from the website. Um, you can go to this particular link and find out more information about the Mastering ver uh, Short Vertical Spreads, as well as another video I have which is uh, called Introduction to Spreads. It covers the basic high-level perspective on all, all different spread strategies and why spreads are a preferred strategy in trading. Uh, and again, stay tuned for other videos that will be coming uh, in the future. Thanks, and happy trading.